Hello, Assalamualaikum, good morning. Okay, welcome to my English class. Today, I'm going to do the answering technique for information transfer question. My Form 5 students, the Form 5 of 2020, you will be sitting for SPM examination in January 2021. The information transfer question will come in your paper 2, section B. My Form 4 students, Form 4 of 2020, you will be sitting SPM examination in December 2021. There are a bit of changes in the exam format. Information transfer will be asked in your paper 1, part 5. I am going to use the question that I have asked the Form 5 students in their Perperiksaan Percubaan SPM Tahun 2020. Okay, so this is the question. You see this text? The text can be in the form of a web page. This is a web page. It can be in the form of an advertisement. It can be in the form of a notice or a poster. Okay, so now let's look at the text. You can see the word buzz reading, reading sorry, buzz reading corner as the header. Okay, actually this is the name of a web page. Okay, see the word reading. So you should guess that all these are the review of books. Okay, let's look at the first book. Dear Dad, if I ask you what is the title of the book, your answer should be Dear Dad. Unfortunately, some of you are so confused when I ask you this question. Title of book. Title of book. Tajuk buku. Okay, title of book. I want you to write the title of book. I don't ask you the author of the book. Okay, title of book. So, who is the... What is the name of the book? Title of book. The first one. Okay, so the title is Dear Dad. Dear Dad. Okay. Before I go further, I just want to uh, tell you that when I mark the paper, I become a bit disappointed. I am a bit disappointed because some of you, okay, some, not all, some of you have written the answer like this. Okay. The question one you to write the title of book. So you write the title of book. Unfortunately, some of you have written the name of the author as well. Kathy Williams, is that right? Yes, right. Okay, so Dear Dad by Kathy Williams. And you know what? Once you are done, okay, once you did like this, I'm sorry, I have to give you a zero. You cannot get one mark. No, 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 cannot. Okay, so I just give you zero straight away. So instead of five marks, many of you, not many lah, some of you, okay, get zero mark for this matching question. So this uh, format is called matching. Okay, because we do not want the name of the author. Kathy Williams is the name of the author or the name of the writer. Nama penulis. No, we just want you to write the title of the book. Okay, so title of the book means just give me Dear Dad. That's it. Dear Dad. Okay, now let's go back to the text. Dear Dad is the name or is the title of the book. Charlotte's Web. Amazing World, My Upside Down Life, Accidental Adventurer, 
Okay, if you are asked what is the title of the book, so these are the title of the book. Dear Dad, Amazing World, Charlotte's Web, My Upside Down Life, and Accidental Adventurer. What about the names? By Kathy Williams, by Lee Su Yin, by White Little, by Barry Jonesberg, by Wendy Hammer. So those are the writer or the author, nama penulis. Okay, and the books. There are two types of books here. One is non-fiction, the other one is fiction. So, what's the difference? Okay, let me tell you the difference. Okay, we go to the first book first. The title of the book is Dear Dad, written by Kathy Williams. The title of the book is Dear Dad, and the name of the author is Kathy Williams. It is a non-fiction Okay, this book chronicles the journey of General Judson F. Miller's experiences in World War II as a second lieutenant commanding a tank platoon of 20 men and 5 tanks. Okay, tank. Tank means kereta kebal. Okay, the meaning of tank is kereta, ke kereta kebal. Kalau tanker tu yang bawa, lori bawa, uh, tanker, tank uh, bawa apa, bawa minyak petrol ke, bawa minyak sawit ke, uh, itu tanker. Yang ni tank. Tang here means kereta kebal. Okay, so the book is about General Judson F. Millers. And he does, and he did exist, you know. Okay, orang ini memang wujud. Bukan cerita rekaan. Uh, so that's the meaning of non-fiction. Okay, just like when you read your Bahasa Melayu book, uh, the title is uh, Lieutenant Adenan. Okay, the Lieutenant Adenan is a real life person, is a real person. So it's a non-fiction. Okay, unlike the second one, Charlotte's Web, by Little, by White Little. Okay, the title of the book is Charlotte's Web. It is a fiction. Why it is a fiction? Okay, uh, this is the first classic novel by Little in 1952 and is greatly loved today. This novel tells the story of a mouse named John and his friendship with a little girl named Fern and a spider named Charlotte. Ada ke labah-labah nama Charlotte? Tak ada kan? Ha, so, ini namanya cerita. Cerita dongeng. Okay, fiction. Fiction maksudnya cerita yang direka. Non-fiction means cerita yang bukan direka-reka. Okay, another non-fiction is this. Okay, a book about amazing world. Okay, so the book tell you about wildlife. Hidupan liar. Okay. You may... Um, Pause the video if you want to read the text. Okay, before we move on to the question. Okay, my objective today is to uh, let you know how you answer the question. Okay, now let's go to the question number 16 to 20. This format is called matching. Okay, using the information in the book reviews, answer each of the questions below. Write the title of the book. Title. Dia tak sebut pun nama penulis. Dia tak sebut pun. Uh, write the title and the writer of the book. And the author of the book. Tak ada. Okay, just title. So, that's why if you have accidentally wrote the name of the author, I am very sorry. I have to give you a zero. Okay, so let's look at the question. A character who helps a good friend. Okay, so the first thing that your keyword that you have to identify is friend. The other one is helps. The other one is good friend. It's good. Okay, helps. Good friend. Okay, so which book telling you about a character who helps a good friend? Okay, uh, definitely not the first book, not Dear Dad. What about the second book, A Spider Named Charlotte? Okay, this novel tells the story of a mouse named John and his friendship. When John is in danger, Charlotte writes messages praising John in her web. Okay, so this is how Charlotte helped John when John is in danger. How did, how does she help or it help John? Okay, by writing messages praising John in her web. Okay, so that is a help. 
So the answer for number 16 is Charlotte's Web. Okay, so that is how you answer the question. Number 17, a girl who is terrified of change. Okay, so you have to have the keyword. So you, I highlight the keyword for you. The first one is terrified. Alamak. Okay, terrified. And the other one is change. Terrified of change. Okay, so the, there are two things that you need to highlight here. Terrified and change. Okay, so now uh, another one. Girl, girl, a girl. A girl who is terrified of change. So, which books telling you about girl? Okay, there are three books telling you about girl. Charlotte's Web, Accidental Adventurer, and My Upside Down Life. Okay, Charlotte's Web, the girl is fun. Accidental Adventurer, the girl is Eva and Appleton. And My Upside Down Life is Candice P. So, those are the name of the girls. Okay, but then you have to look at the keyword that you have highlighted. You have highlighted the word terrified and change. So now use your finger and scan all these three looking for the word terrified and change. So here you find the word terrified and you find the word change. So the answer is accidental adventurer. Okay, that is how you get your answer. Okay, the use of pictures to present information. Present information. Present means masa kini. Maklumat masa kini. Benda tu masih ada, masih wujud. The use of pictures to present information. So, benda yang wujud sekarang. Okay, so dia that. World War II, past already. Charlotte's Web, tak wujud. Accidental Adventurer, also. Uh, non-existent but uh, my upside down life is also a fiction so it's not a real life story okay so we have no choice the answer is amazing world talking about wildlife in the savannah desert tropical forest and tundra okay so the answer is amazing world present information we still can find the wildlife in the savannah, in the tundra, in the uh, in in all the part in all parts of the world, isn't it? So that's why the answer is amazing world. Okay, now I want you to look at the spelling amazing a m a z i n g. When you do this kind of question, you have to make sure that you transfer the correct information, the correct spelling, the correct word. Unfortunately. Some of my form five students have written, have type, uh, sorry, have uh, written a wrong spelling. Example, like one of you or maybe a few of you have written, amazing world. You add the I in between the A and the Z and the Z. Sorry. Okay, so you get zero for that. I'm sorry, zero. No compromise. Okay. So in order to get one mark, you must spell the words correctly. Amazing world. So that is how you write. Okay. Then number nineteen. Someone who helps people and animals. Someone who helps people and animals. And don't forget also the word is someone. Someone. Someone means orang. Okay, helps people and animals. Which character helps people and animals? Of course, this, this three, right? But you cannot 
uh, put Charlotte's web as your answer because who helped in this in this story? A spider. Is it a someone? No, spider is not a someone. Laba laba bukan orang. Okay, now you only have accidental adventurer and my upside down life. Okay, accidental adventurer, you cannot get, uh, you cannot take this as your answer because um, the story is about Eva who is terrified. Okay, dia pun takut so nak tolong orang pula tak. Okay, so look at my upside down life. Candice Fee is 17 years old, hilariously honest and a little odd. But she has a big heart. Okay, she sets about trying to fix all the problems faced by people and pets. Okay, people, orang, pet, binatang, haiwan. Yeah. Okay, so she helps people and animal. So the answer is my upside down life. You see the word upside down with the hyphen? Uh, so you have to follow, you have to write the hyphen as well. Okay, so the answer is my upside down life. So this is how you answer. Okay, this is wrong. Life, L, capital L. Okay, so the answer must be written like this. My upside down life. You see my upside down life. Okay, the beginning of, the, of each sentence must begin with Capital letter. Okay, some of the students ask me, can I write like this, teacher? Can. No problem. But um, it's not recommended. I, I don't recommend you to write everything in capital letter. If possible, please write everything. Uh, okay, only the beginning of the sentence, the beginning of the word in capital letter. Okay, the others all use the small letter. Okay, and then some of the students ask me, Teacher, can I write this in the real SPM? No, no, no. But, um, okay, since I don't know what is your problem. Because um, I see that many, not many, lah, some. But to me, some is many. To me, some is many. They have written the answer as this. Everything is small letter. I should give you zero, but since this is the trial exam, so I just close my two eyes and give you the one mark. In the real SPM, please don't do this. Please, please don't do this. Okay, so you have to write the title properly. Each word begins with the capital letter. Okay, I give you one scenario, the example. Okay, please uh, don't get offended if I'm talking about one of you. One of my students, one of my students from a good class have written the answer like this. Wrong spelling. Of course, wrong spelling. But she or he has written, dear bad, oh bad, okay, oh bad, dear bad. Is it so difficult to, to write the word dead? Only three Letters, D-A-D, dad. How can you do this kind of mistake? Okay, so this is real bad. Okay, so you don't write dear bad, but please write dear dad. Please look at the spelling properly. This is not k at all. This is not k at all. You just need to copy down and rewrite in your answer space. Okay, in the answer spaces given here. Okay, so this is the matching format. Another one is the gap text. The format of this is get text. Okay. Now, you need to uh, read through everything. And then, you have to um, write the word. Only one answer in one blank. Although, you see that, uh, for example, like this blank, uh, these lines, it's longer than the rest, isn't it? But that doesn't mean that you must write two answers there. Only one answer. Although, the line is longer. Why I put longer lines there? Because some of you have big handwriting. So that's why uh, I need to, to give you long lines. Okay. So now let's look at the answer for the gap text. Okay. Hi, Li Ming. How are you? Two weeks ago, I came across a few 
book reviews on a web page called okay so what is the name of the web page look at the text again so the name of the web page is buzz reading corner okay and some of you ask me teacher can i write everything in all in capital letter uh, then i will say not recommended so you have to write like this buzz with the capital B, reading with the capital R, okay, and corner with the capital C. Okay, that is how you write your answer. Okay, the second blank, number 22. I personally would enjoy reading books about war, perang, war. Okay, so which book telling us about war? So the answer is here World War Two Perang Dunia Kedua. So the answer is Dear Dad. So you write the words Dear Dad here. Okay, again, please don't write everything in capital letters. So this is the format. Okay, Dear Dad. Okay, so Dear Dad, okay, just now, Dear Dad is a real life story, isn't it? It's a real story about General Jackson F. Miller. So, it is a non-fiction. So, the opposite of non-fiction is fiction. Okay. Now, let's look at the other blank. However, however shows irony. Menunjukkan sebaliknya. Irony itu maksudnya yang disebaliknya. Okay. Irony. Uh, however, uh, shows you there is an element of irony di sebaliknya. Kalau sini fiction, so sini mesti bukan, eh sorry, kalau sini non-fiction, di sebaliknya mestilah fiction. However, I know that you would prefer to read what kind of books? So your answer should be fiction. Why? Because just now dear that is a non-fiction. Okay, then you have the word however. So however shows irony. Opposite. Especially if there are strong female characters. Okay, strong female characters. Strong female characters. So, which books have strong female characters? So, you need to write two books under number 24 and number 25. Let's go back to the, uh, to the text. Okay, so the story about female characters. One. Two, three. Okay. Uh, you cannot put Charlotte's Web as your answer because uh, the character in Charlotte's Web, uh, the, the female character is a spider. Laba-laba. Okay. Uh, so your answer should be Accidental Adventurer and My Upside Down Life. Okay. Because uh, these two books, these two stories give you the characters of... Um, Strong female, Eva Ann Appleton and Candice Fee. Here also you say, okay, uh, we have a girl named Fern. So this is a human. No, because uh, this is just the minor character. Strong character means the main character. The main character should be a female. Should be the female. But female here not referring to the spider, but referring to the human being. Okay, so your answer that you should, should have written here is... Accidental Adventurer. Okay, make sure the spelling is correct. Or the other one is My Upside Down Life. Okay, so this is uh, interchangeable, meaning that you can write my upside down life here and accidental adventure here. So the the sequence of the answer is not important as long as the words or the name of the title of the book is correct. Okay, some of you are so not confident of yourself. Okay, just now I said one blank is only for one answer. But, okay, there I see that um, 
a few of you have are not confident of yourself, so you have written two answers in one blank. Because just now you said in Charlotte's web, uh, Charlotte is the name of a female. Okay, and spy. Okay, but I, I said I don't accept the that answer. This answer, right? Okay, so do you think you get one one mark here, or do you think you get zero? Okay, let me tell you. Now, my upside down is correct, right? My upside down life is correct. Okay, so immediately you get one mark. Although you have written the word Charlotte's Web down here. It is wrong. Okay, but you have written my upside down life uh, at the first place. Okay, so the first thing that I see is my upside down life. So you will get a zero. Some of you have written Charlotte's Web first. Then only you write my upside down life below. So what marks that you get? Zero or one? Okay, since you have written the wrong one first, so you get zero. Although you have written the correct answer down here, but we look at the first answer, Charlotte's Web. So zero, wrong. So we don't accept the second one. Okay, unless you write my upside down here, uh, then only you get one, one mark. But please, 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 don't write two answers in one blank, in one space. Okay, only one answer in one blank. No two answers. We don't accept. Okay, please remember that. Okay, people. So this is how you write or you uh, answer the information transfer question. You have to relax. You have to be calm and answer the question correctly. Okay, people. I will see you in the next tutorial. Be safe and be good. Don't forget to try the information transfer question in the Google form that I have shared with you in the in your classes groups. Okay, bye for now. Thank you for your time.